This is Easy Blues for my buddy Dominic, artist, homie G-Dog. D, you're funny. You always emphasize simple, simple, and um, what I think simple, I hope is simple enough. Uh, that was example two of three that I did for you. And I've been going back and forth with different ideas. And, um, you know, a lot of times I think Dominic, what people struggle with is making something flow, you know, and uh, the tempo and the timing. So the cool thing with blues is, it sounds good at all tempos. As a matter of fact, the slower, a lot of times, the better. So this first one, what I did, it's uh, E blues, and I put some real simple, basic pentatonic riffs followed by a rhythm that you probably already know the rhythm to. <laughs> most of that one so let's break it down I went ahead and tuned standard on this we're gonna go uh, actually is this standard or did I go flat I might have went flat no we're standard okay so on the beginning of this open B we're gonna pick hammer onto the third fret and then pick an open high E we're gonna do that three times and you can down pick all this Dominic if you speed it up, you may want to upstroke the high E. Don't even worry about all that right now. Let's just uh, get you familiar with this. So already we have a subgroup. Really, three notes of this is a subgroup, right? Also, fingering you can experiment with. Third finger might work better because it'll get you closer up to the rhythm, which we're going to do in a second. So three times of... And then the ending will be open or would be the third fret on the high E, half step bend. And then stop the note. Remember a half step D is uh, one fret. So we're, we're uh, bending the G to a G sharp. If you need to do some ear training with that, play the G sharp. That's what we need to achieve by bending right here. All right, so you have. Back it with a couple fingers if you need to for the bend. Because we have the nut here, the resistance on that can be a little tight. As you get away from the nut and start bending further up the neck, it's more loose and slinky. So uh, I usually back it up with fingers anyways if I can. Now the rhythmic part here, you may know this. I think, uh, I'm pretty sure you know something similar to it. Most people do. Um, we're going to go open E string, second fret A, strum. And then just take your pick and your hand and everything and come over and stop the notes. Do it again and then transfer to the 4th fret A. We're going to play an open E through all this. Rest. 4th to 5th. Now we're going to go backwards with it. 5th to 4th. And then 4th to 2nd. So we have a 1 hit and then 2, 2, 2, 2. So... Now we're gonna go, and I would use first finger, I think you'll be more comfortable. Third fret, high E. It's kind of like an opposite of what we just did. Pick, pull off to open, and then pick the open B. Do that three times. All right. When you come back down to play this third fret, um, make sure you don't hear the open B string. It'll still sound cool like. But uh, you should be able to pick and choose which one you want to do. To, so to stop it, when I come back down to play it, my finger is touching the B string. It can also be handled over here as well. So, and then three B slide to five. It's a whole step slide. Um, same rhythm as before. 
middle finger 2G, we're going to slide to 4. It's a hold. So in other words, keep that ringing as you play the 3rd fret B. And then go G, B, G, B, G, B, E. So you have... You don't want to go... Once again, you can. Two different sounds. I like the sound of this better. Now I just wanted to switch up your rhythm a little bit um, on this one. This time we're going to start... Remember, open E through all of this. 5th fret A and the open E once. And then 5th to 4th. 4th to 2nd. 2nd to 4th. 4th to 2nd. So that one sounds like this. Um, first finger, 3rd fret, high E, pull off to open. And then open B. Same concept, a string higher. 3, pull open B, open G. So we have... 2G pull open, and then open 2 on the D. And then we're going to change to this. Or, my bad, I had it backwards. Um, open 2 on the A and D string. Hit them together once, and then do it again, but go to 3A afterwards. There's no X on that line, so you let it ring a second. 4A, back to the power chord, the A power chord. So, okay, and then hit the power chord again, and go 3E. And you'll see the line, so you'll, you have 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, that type of feel. 3E, and then 4E, back to the A power chord. Open A. Five, six, seven on the D vibrato if you can. And then start it over. And I wanted to give you some Jimmy Page sounding chords here. So then to that one, we're going to go open A, seven D, open G, seven B, open E. Now, if there's something tough in this, it's going to be the angle of your fingers coming in on the strings and your knuckles particularly because we have the open every other string. So you may have to work a little bit with that, but strum all of them. And then move it back a whole step flat, which just means two frets. You're just moving that pattern. So. And then we're back to the first rhythm that we had did. Now this one doubles, you're gonna, in other words, you're gonna hear two strings at once. Um, and you can use whatever fingers you want, but 5B open E, and then three open, and open open. Okay, this might be a little tough on the bend. 2G, I would use the middle, put the index behind it. Hit the last three strings, the G, the B, and the E, and bend a whole step. Bending an A to a B note. Takes a lot of pressure, once again, because we have the nut here. Um, I'm going to go... Okay, 2A. Quick rest, and then 2 open A, D. 1, D, 2, A. So, 2, open A. 1, A, open D. And then 2, 1, A, D. All right? Knuckle angles coming down. Okay, and then from there, after you go, you can let it ring. And then pick the 2, A, slide to 9. And then go 9, 8, 7 on the D vibrato if you want. Right? So. Okay, from there, open, oh, it's the A power chord again. Open 2 A D. And then hit it again, going to 3 A. 4 A to the A power chord. And then the A power chord to 3 E. 4 E to the A power chord. That's the same as last time we did it, right? And 
then we're gonna end it. We're gonna go. Oops, I missed it. Oh. <clears throat> so, open A to 4A, 5D. 4, 5, again, to 5, 4, A, D. Just flip it over. And then hit that again, and go to 6, 3, A, D. Three times. A string, 7, 6, 7, working down. Strum. 7, A. 9, 6, A, D, to 7, D. So it's... ways to approach this finger wise if you're semi comfortable with bars I would bar it second fret D G and B and then the three high E hit the open A with it but you know you can different ways to do it so that's the first one there's a lot of stuff going on in there E major blues, this is what I entered the lesson with. Um, 2A and 2D, that's all you need to get started. Use your middle and third. Strum it and do a quick hammer onto the first fret G. So you're actually hammering on from an E minor to an E major. Rest, and then on the B string, 0, 3, 0, 3, 0. Okay, do the hammer again. And then 0, 3, 0. And then 3B open E slide to 5. And you should hear the open E ringing with it. So up to there it's. Back to the first one. Okay, E minor hammer on to E major. And I had to throw something crazy in here. 0, 3, 0, B. And then open G. If you don't have a lock, just press behind the nut pick and push down and you can bend a half step to that note so little trick um, do that twice okay two of those and then we go to the top of page four two a three e half step bend to open e and now we get moving. A major. Um, you can experiment with fingering, but I'm going to use standard. 2, D, G, and B. We got the open A and the open E. We're going to go open. Or we're going to strum all five. Or open A. And then down, up. Rest, up, down, up. And then open A. Drop your pinky to 3E, e, that's an A7 chord. Go down, up, up, down, up. Back to the open A. Going over the A, a major chord. Down, up, up, down, up, A7. Stop. String mutes. So it's... Then we're going to go E minor again, like the beginning of this um, whole thing we started. You're going to go down, up, down. That final down, come down to the E major. Down, up, up. That's important to memorize. You're going to do that two times, so it's... Then go down, up, down. That final down is the E again. Again. Again, down, up. So it's. B7 chord, 2A, 1D, 2G, open B, 2E. Play it as an arpeggio first. If you hear them all, you're good to go. Go down, down, up, up, down, up. That strum's important to memorize. With your middle, mute string six. And then move that whole shape up one fret. Three, two, three, zero, three. Down, down, up. 
Back to B7, down, down, up. So it's. And then just strum an E major. Here it is a little slower. One thing too, Dominic, you could do, I used to do this. Um, and I remember I was learning jazz chords I'd been playing for a while and I was frustrated because I couldn't land some of them, you know. But just take the chords, you don't even have to strum and go through the motions. You know, if these aren't landing right, then none of this matters anyways, right? Uh, and then the ending of this... How fast it is though. Go 10A, slide to 11. Follow your picking in your tabs. On the D, 9, 10, 11. On the G, 9, 11. Slide to 12. Let it ring as you play 9B. 12, 9, G, B. And then 12, 11, 9, G. So it's. Bar the 8th fret, D, G, and B. And you go 9E. Step sharp to nine 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 ten. All right. Um, third one. This is the last one. This is a little more kind of rock.